folks, this time we're going to do convex mirror. It's much harder, so therefore it's more exciting. Convex mirror, all the all the focal lines has to be negative. Let's just put a one, negative one centimeter. And the object distance, let's just put two centimeter. And object height, let's put one centimeter. So now let's start. So this is my mirror, which I'm going to show you here. And this is the back side of it. So here is optical axis, something like this. So we have O and O prime, M and M prime, because the uh, the focal lens is a negative. So then in other words, the focal point has to be behind of the mirror. So this behind the mirror right over here. So this is my focal point, F since this is the negative and I have object distance two centimeter which is over here it's two centimeter and of course its height is one centimeter let me write one centimeter so this just be one centimeter now you see I use a smaller number because I just want to be conservative because my page is not that big in case I did not get image and defeated my purpose of teaching you guys here so first ray is going to be parallel to the optical axis Ray parallel to the optic axis. And this is ray number one. Ray number two is going to go through the focal point. You remember O O F F O O. So this is the thing that we learned. So first you go through the um, parallel to the optical axis through the focal point. So this time it's through the focal point. So I'm going to draw like this. Now you remember, anything behind the mirror has to be dashed line. So I'm going to use dashed line to show you here. Because the red reflects, it won't be able to go through into the mirror. So then it reflects over here. This is ray number two. Ray number three, it go through the focal point. So the ray, I'm going to draw a ray like this. Go through the focal point. So it only ends here because rest of these all dashed line there's no light so to speak go through it so it reflects this is my ray number three once it reflects the mirror remember the reflecting point has to be on the mirror so it reflects from this point so I draw a line reflects back and this is my ray number four now I need to find out the crossing point between ray number two and four again same strategy four and two and a four so let's look at that. So this is my ray number four, back extended. There's no light, but I have to find that. So I back extend it in this way, like this. So eventually I find a crossing point over here. It's very tiny, just be careful. We're not crossing with the ray number two, or uh, ray number three. This is the ray number three. We're crossing two and a four. So here's a two and a four. Now, I finish it, have the image, this has to be dashed line. It's pretty small. Let me magnify it. What I need to draw is like this big. So of course it's smaller here, A prime. So then I have a virtual image. And I have upright. In other words, with respect to the uh, original the uh, object. So this is the first one, and I'm gonna show you a second one for the mirrors with the object is closer or further away and the idea is to stay the same.